Welcome to the Media Suite demonstration screencast showing you how to use Premiere Pro, uh, how to import videos, how to define the portion of the video you would like to record, importing video and audio to the timeline, allowing for video cutaways, i.e. video in video, importing video on audio only onto the timeline from video that's on your media bar, adding text elements to your videos, adding pictures and video in video, which is great for bringing in PowerPoint presentations as stills, adding fades and transitions between portions of videos and exporting the files. Okay, we'll start off with the capture window that will be, is displayed on the screen as we can see here. I'll just move this as the window. When you launch the PC in the media suite you'll notice it boots straight up and in to Premiere Pro. This is how they've been designed. The window that will come up, the capture window, mine currently says capture device offline because I'm not connected to a camera but what you will see in this black window here is a feedback from the main camera in the media suite so you'll be able to see the image on the screen. If this isn't happening it might be that the PC has already been left on and you will just need to reboot. So that's the best thing to do. The simple process of recording video into Adobe Premiere Pro from the camera in the media suite and the audio as well is a very simple one. It's been set up for ease of use for anybody coming into the room. The first thing you'll notice when you look at the capture window, if we look down the bottom here, you've got two buttons, you've got a stop button and you have a record button. As you can imagine these two buttons are going to be the key buttons for stopping and starting your recording. Any button in Premiere Pro, if you're unsure what it is, let's hover over it and it will give you a screen tip. So to record your video file from the main camera in the media suite you would set up your stage area Make sure your audio is feeding back on the peak bars which will also be featured on the screen in the media suite. You'll see some green bars jumping up and down. And once you are happy with how the camera is set up, how it's zoomed in and you've got everything on screen that you want, you'd also choose the backdrop in the media suite to make sure that you're recording against a plain backdrop. There's three options in the media suites. There's a chroma key green background which will allow you at a later date to actually replace the background with an image file uh, as you'll see weather reporters do. We don't need to worry too much about this but it is an easy background to record against. There's a, a black background and then the business school media suite has a white background and the law school media suite has a grey background. The white and the grey ones will be later branded to look very similar to how the, the post-match football interviews occur with the advertising behind the screen. So choose a plain background. Uh, if you're not wearing all black then the black background is a really good one to record against. Otherwise choose the green one and especially if you think you might want to replace the background with an image at a later date when you've learned how to do the chroma key screen replacement you could choose the green one again it will give you a plain background. Once you're happy with the stage area set up and you've ensured that everything's feeding through to the PC you can see a video on screen you can see the audio bars bouncing up and down then you would literally come in and pr come into the capture module on the PC and press your red record button. You will then see across the top here where mine currently says capture device offline, a timer will start and you'll know it is recording. It's quite a fast running timer. Then move yourself back over to the recording area in the stage area of the media suite. Sit yourself down or get yourself into position. Allow a pause which will then allow, make it easier for editing out the movement in and off scene. And then begin your recording. Once you've completed your recording, 
you would literally again leave a pause at the end move away from the stage area come back to the PC and press the stop button on the capture input this will stop the recording uh, will then ask you to name it uh, it's just a case of giving it something that makes sense to you so if it was litigation or accounting just put a title in that makes sense to you and click OK and once it's done that it will actually put your recorded file into this window here and that is a simple process of recording video files from the main camera in the room into your PC in the media suite.